How's it going everybody, it's Sean here back today to give you a review of the Nike Dunk Low Premium in this Fossil Rose colorway. Today's video as always is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETP windsoles which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or just for your regular sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and to me, I honestly find them very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is my latest Dunk pickup, which is a Nike Dunk Low Premium Edition, which released a few weeks back here in Canada, along with I believe in Europe. But they're slated for a wider North American drop, I believe in early May, for a price of 110 US dollars, and they retailed for 145 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is Phantom, Fossil Rose, Aura, and Summit White. And unlike the normal general release Nike sportswear dunks, this one in contrast feels much more premium in hand, and it's constructed predominantly out of suede instead of flat leather. So jumping straight into the details, on the toe box, we have a Summit White colored suede, and this suede to the touch feels like it's pretty decent quality, but has more of a flat feel to it instead of that fuzzy long-haired suede. Surrounding the front toe cap, the suede here has a little bit more of that textured feel to it, and this also feels like it's pretty good quality as well, and it sort of has a bit of a bluish tone to it in person. So this same suede covers the eyelets of the shoe as well, and it also wraps around the bottom of the heel. And then on the mid panel, we have more of that summit white colored suede, and overlaid on top of this, we have a fossil bone colored suede swoosh, which again, just like the rest of the shoe, feels like it's pretty decent quality in hand. And surrounding the top of the heel, we have another hit of suede, and we have the Nike word mark embroidered across. For the laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just your standard flat style lace done in this fossil rose color. To me, I'm kind of curious to see how these would look with, for example, a cream or an off-white colored lace, but unfortunately, Nike only gave us one option. Underneath this, we have a thin nylon tongue, and it's outlined with this nylon material on the edges with this bluish tint to it, just like the suede that we saw surrounding the front toe cap. And at the very top, we have this tag with Nike branding stitched across in this fossil rose color. So the inner liner of the shoe is lined in this nylon material, giving a very silky smooth finish to it. And then as for the insoles, these come with their standard foam line insole, and we have Nike branding stamped on the heel in that same fossil rose color. So the upper of the dunk sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is done in this white finish. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, this is your classic dunk outsole. So this is entirely constructed out of a fossil rose colored rubber. We have that same circular traction pattern on the forefoot, along with Nike branding found across the middle. So that's pretty much all there is to it for these dunks. And in terms of the sizing, for those of you guys wondering, I feel like these definitely run true to size, so that's what I'd recommend. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and for most non-Nike SB dunks, I stick true to size, which is what I did for this pair. So long story short, whatever size you normally wear for the dunks, whether that's a half size down, true to size, or half size up, everyone's foot is different, but basically whatever size you normally wear, I'd stick with that same size for this one. Next up in terms of the comfort, so these feel like any of your other dunks, so it's not going to be the most comfortable shoe out there. However, for just everyday casual use, they're going to be fine. They feel pretty flat, low to the ground, and very stable, but there's not too much from a softness and stepping comfort perspective. And finally, from an overall quality and craftsmanship standpoint, so first off, material quality, I thought it was pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's the best quality dunk I've seen from Nike. A lot of Nike SB dunks have better quality than this but the materials are definitely a step up over that plastic leather that they use on those general release Nike sportswear dunks. So I think if you're able to grab these for retail, you won't be disappointed with the quality. And similarly, from the build and craftsmanship standpoint, I really had no issues at all with my pair. I thought this was a pretty solid, well put together shoe, so no complaints on that end. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look.
To me, this is a very clean colorway of the Nike Dunk Low, and as sad as it is to say, I'm happy that Nike gave us decent materials on this shoe. I think this colorway is very wearable, very versatile for obvious reasons, and you can pair this shoe with a wide array of different outfits. And to me, I kind of see this as an inverted take on the medium curry Dunk Low premiums from last year. And if I had to compare the two, I feel like the medium curries are a little bit better from a quality standpoint. And I also think the color blocking is a bit better than these, but this pair is no slouch at all. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Fossil Rose Colored Dunk Low Premium. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway? And when these drop in the US in the next few weeks or so, are you planning on copying these? And if you take an L, are you gonna be paying resale? I think they're going for around 200 Canadian dollars right now. Or are you just gonna move on to the next release? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for the continued love and support. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.